Hey everyone, what's up? Seriously, I know it has been a minute since I talked to you guys. Um, about a month, I think. So there's a lot going on. Um, I took a trip out to Georgia, actually, to visit some family. And if you watched my last video about feeding my horses peanut butter, that's where I was. Unfortunately, no, I don't have three horses sitting in my backyard. They're actually at my mom's house in Georgia. And, of course, while I was in Georgia, I absolutely had to check out the new Round 1 that they opened at the Stonecrest Mall about six months ago. So I took the opportunity to go out there for a day, and um, it was pretty cool. Um, I was glad to check it out. I did have some problems while I was there, and I'll explain that a little bit more at the end of the video. But without further ado, here is my first visit to the Round 1 in Georgia. Enjoy. Did nothing. <laughs> Again. 
even catch that but there was two in the shoe Darn it. Okay, so the, the way that someone has this Mr. Pickle, I'm wondering if I can grab his head and just flip him in. So at this point, one of the employees came up to me and told me that I was not allowed to film, which I thought was kind of interesting because I made a point of reading the house rules that are posted at every single round loan location right by the door, and that did not say anything about filming whatsoever. So I politely asked her if I could speak to a manager because I have spoke to management at other locations before in the past and they have given me permission to film just as long as I'm not filming like other guests that are in the store or the employees, anything like that. Just focusing on my own gameplay and generally just not getting in anyone's way. They really didn't have an issue with it. So I figured, okay, might as well try to speak to a manager and see if I can get anywhere. So she called over a manager and I spoke with him, and he told me pretty much the same thing that she did. Although, actually, he even mentioned that it is a company-wide round one policy that you are not allowed to film the cranes, which I thought was a little interesting as well, because I know other YouTubers who have had issues filming at some locations, but then other locations let them film without any problems. So if this is a company-wide thing, that seems a little odd, and it to me, I feels like it's kind of more up to manager discretion what they want to do, because like I said, some locations do, some locations don't. Oh well. Um, the interesting thing is that he told me that I was allowed to film any of the other games that I wanted, just not the UFO catchers. So I'm wondering if maybe that's because they think that people are filming so they can try to do videos on how to, like, cheat UFO catchers. Um, Although, if you've ever played UFO Catcher, you know that there's really no way to cheat the game. I mean, unless you're, like, reaching into the chute and just pulling the plush out, but, I mean, who would do that? That's just stupid. But anyways, other than that, honestly, I had a really good experience. Um, the store is very well put together, and the machines work wonderfully, so it's unfortunate that they didn't allow me to film the crane games, but... Overall, still really liked that location. If you're in the area, I definitely recommend that you check it out. And 
whenever I go back to Georgia, I'm definitely going to try to do another video there, just not filming Crane Games, but just the other games. Um, but yeah, so let me show you guys all the plush that I actually did win. So this is everything that I got. The BMO I actually got off camera before I even started filming. It was a really lucky shot. I hadn't even pulled my camera out. I was just trying to show my mom, who was with me, how UFO catchers work, because she'd never really seen them. And I was like, oh look, you just move this to the left and the right, and there you go, and boom, it just fell in on the first try. So that's where that came from. And then the Mermaid Hello Kitty, I actually won a second one after that one employee told me that I wasn't allowed to film. I was using up the last of my credits before I left and I won a second one and I gave that one to my mom because if you remember from the beginning of the video I was trying to win her one. So that one is in Georgia but I did get two. And then these Relacamas and the Hello Kitties were from e -Claws. and I still can't figure out exactly how there were two Relacamas in the shoot. I don't know if someone left it there or if I knocked it into the shoot and I didn't catch it. I, I don't know but either way I got two and then the uh, the Hello Kitty that I also got on the second try. So that's everything that I got for $50 at the Round 1 in the Stonecrest Mall in Georgia. Thank you for watching, and as always, everyone, please stay very fabulous. Bye!